So someone asked you about Matt Gates and Tucker Carlson. I hope you liked the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So have we forgotten about Matt Gates? I mean, this should be some interesting stuff. And I'm, they're wondering if Tucker Carlson is going to be questioned. So let's see about that. And I'll tell you a little bit more uh, that I know in just a second. CNN says that Fox News host Tucker Carlson was livid after Florida Congressman Matt Gates tried to rope him in uh, to a minor sex trafficking scandal, and it pissed him off. Um, on Tucker Carlson's show, a little bit back, uh, Matt Gates said he was not the only person on screen falsely accused of a terrible sex act. Dragging Tucker into this, and then he suggested this, and then he suggested that Tucker Carlson and his wife, Tuck Carson's Carlson's wife, uh, met the woman involved, saying uh, the girl was threatened by the FBI to say that Matt Gates was involved in a pay-to-play uh, scheme. And then Matt Gates said, "You, Tucker Carlson, and I went to dinner. Your wife was there, and I bought brought a friend. You'll remember her." And then uh, Tucker Carlson says, I don't remember the woman you're speaking of or the context at all, honestly. And after the interview, Tucker Carlson said it was one of the weirdest interviews he's ever conducted. But uh, here's a little background on Matt's, Matt Gates and um, and this uh, Ginger Lucky situation. So, uh, so uh, 1982, Matt, Matthew Lewis Gates II was born in Hollywood, California. And he grew up in Florida in the house that was used for the film The Truman Show. And uh, in 1995, though, his now wife, Ginger Lucky, was born in Long Island uh, Beach, California. She's the youngest of three kids. And her mom homeschooled her, and her dad worked at a car dealership. Don't know what he did. But 2003, Matt uh, graduated uh, from Florida State University with a BS in interdisciplinary sciences. And then in 2006 to 2016, for 10 years, Gates' father was a member of the Florida Senate. Now, in 2007, Matt received a JD degree from the William and Mary School of Law and practiced in Fort, Lauder Fort Walton Beach, uh, Florida. And then, in, but then for Ginger, in 2008 to 2013, she had a job at the California Alamitos Bay Yacht Club as a sailing coach. And then, in uh, 2014, she worked as a worship leader for Campus Crusade for Christ. And her brother founded Oculus VR, becoming wealthy. I mean, really wealthy, and selling his company to Facebook at 21 years old. And he's a big donor to the Republican Party with a net worth of around $730 million. Okay, so now in 2005, Ginger was a tax intern for Price Waterhouse Coopers, so, you know, entry level, a little low level position. In 2016, she graduated from the University of California with a BA in economics and accounting. And then 2017, she was an official big sister with the Big Sisters and Big Brothers program for child mentoring. And then 2020, Ginger and Gates, they met at a Republican fundraiser at Mar a Lago and had a very MAGA heavy courtship. They became engaged at Mar a Lago. Then Lago. Then 2021, Gates had shown naked pictures to political colleagues of women he slept with, displaying them in the House of Representatives. And one of the Gates's girlfriends, one of Gates's girlfriends, patched him in on a call with the previously girl in question. And if Gates uh, tried, to, it said, if Gates tried to obstruct the FBI federal investigation by influencing her not to mention anything, or Gates and the girlfriend who patched him in could face federal criminal obstruction charges. Now. 2021, Ginger is now an online student in a Harvard business program for a master's as in, a, in is a, she's an analyst in sales operations and enablement lead for a biotech company uh, making protective coatings for fresh food, which just reminds me, makes me think of a banana condom. I don't know. Banana condom. I don't know. And then earning about 80,000 a year with a net uh, worth of 300,000. So she owned a home in California, 300,000 and make a little bit of the job. That's about right. Now, at a lucky family Thanksgiving, Ginger's sister called Gates weird and creepy because while she, the sister, was 19 and interning at the White House, he tried to set her up with an older man. And she says she saw, 
I, she says this, I saw the character and type of person he is, and when everything came out, I honestly was not surprised. She said uh, that she and her mom confronted Gates at that Thanksgiving, and he immediately got defensive and started yelling at them and calling uh, her a, a narcissist, and the sister said she was 1,000%, or rather, she said that he was 1,000% gaslighting uh, them, going full lawyer, and saying, I don't have to answer your questions, and now the sisters are estranged. But now in 2021, Lucky... If, if she is lucky, uh, Ginger, uh, 26 years old now, is Mrs. Matthew Gates. And after they re uh, recently, uh, suddenly, secretly eloped, eloped <laughs> they had hoped uh, to marry at Mar-a-Lago. Gates said he wanted the marriage to be officiated by Trump uh, and an Elvis impersonator, but I guess it just didn't work out. So let's see what the cards say. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So love these cards, Los Carabio, amazing box to come in, look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there too. The cards um, are great. I mean, they're slick, they're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But, I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them? How beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So... Really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. Solabusca Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energies into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together. So that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju. Okay, so here we go. This will be Matt Gates. Will Tucker Carlson be interviewed as a witness? So Matt Gates, regarding Matt Gates, will Tucker Carlson be interviewed as a witness? So regarding Matt Gates, will Tucker Carlson be interviewed as a witness? So these cards, uh, like I said, can be a little cryptic. And uh, I may need to pull out the guidebook or my cheat sheet to help me um, get the right divination. So I just want to let you know ahead of time. But this is going to be the question about Matt Gates and Tucker Carlson. Uh, because apparently Matt Gates tried to pull Tucker in to this um, situation. So will the feds interview Tucker Carlson as a witness? And then maybe some more questions after that. So... Right off the bat, uh, six cards for uh, whether Tucker Carlson will be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Tucker Carlson, will he be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal? Let's see. The signifier card for this, whether Tucker Carlson will be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal. Okay, so this is uh, 21, so this is the uh, world card. So this is the final um, card in the Fool's Journey of the Major Arcana. And the world card uh, indicates that um, this is, a, you know, he's been all the way through the cycle and something else is about to begin. So the world card is typically a yes card. And um, let's see if there's something here that kind of makes us think about, about this situation. Um, I don't know. We have this dragon over here in, in this globe with some stars above. And then uh, this uh, fighter um, with his, it looks like a sword. And I'm not sure what this apparatus is down here. So I just have to leave it right now. Okay, so will uh, Tucker Carlson be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal. The signifier card is this world card. It's the completion of a cycle and the beginning of something else. Um, the uh, challenge to that then is going to be this 11 um, of um, 
And what is the 11? This is the 11 of wands. And the 11 of wands um, is going to be a page. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, it's going to be a page. So a page of wands is the least important of the uh, court cards. He's just bringing this message uh, to the court for determination if they're going to do something with it. Okay, And so that's interesting. So the, the completion of this cycle is challenged by this page bringing this action, this information, or this plan uh, for consideration. So the end of the cycle challenged by the page bringing this information. That's interesting. So this could be um, telling us that he will be bringing this information into this into this situation. Not sure yet. The base of this reading then is this, uh, is this the five? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the five of uh, wands or swords. This is the five of swords. Five of swords is um, typically a um, an, an abuse of power. Okay, uh, this uh, fellow with this five of swords has is really having a hard time uh, carrying all the weight of all this truth, justice, rules, law, and it's a theft card. You know, he's kind of stealing uh, that truth, justice, rules, law. So the base of all this has to do with this character who's really trying to make off with all of these these swords. Um, that sounds like trouble. Tucker Carlson to me, but I'm biased, so I, I, I don't know. We'll leave it like that. I'll come back and recap in a minute. Uh, the past of this reading, then, is this great big ace of cups. So the past of this is an offer of compassion, of, uh, of emotion, uh, a very um, uh, personal um, situation in the past. Oh, gosh, I don't know. And then the sky of this reading for whether Tucker Carlson will um, um, uh, be interviewed as a witness is um so what is this this is the one two three four the four card this is the uh emperor as a matter of fact of the major arcana okay so the emperor is completely in charge of his of his dominion okay and uh, no one's going to make him do something that he doesn't want to do you can see that this emperor is really putting on the brakes okay he's defending himself and so okay this could be a lot of a pushback from tucker carlson uh, in this regard as the emperor of his domain now that's interesting right there and then the final outcome for this first first part as to whether uh he will be interviewed regarding the matt gates situation uh is uh this seven of cups oh the seven of cups is illusion and delusion Okay, so this is very interesting. Um, and, you know, cups are, of course, emotional, compassionate, uh, um, you know, very heartfelt. And, uh, you know, very, um, in this case, it makes me think of, you know, very excited emotions. Let's go over this first part again. So the world card is a signifier. It's the end of, of a cycle. Okay, it's, it's the end of a thing. And the page is the very weakest of the, it's challenged by the page of wands, the very weakest of the court cards bringing this, uh, this information uh, to the court. Hmm. So it looks like it's not a big chance that it's going to happen. Uh, in the basis of this reading, this is all uh, founded on this theft and deception, this uh, uh, person trying to make off of this truth and justice. That sounds right to me. And then in the past of this, we have this great big ace of cups. And if Tucker Carlson hasn't been a great big... Um, uh, arbiter of huge passions and emotions uh, with his television program. I don't know who has. So, but then the sky of this is the emperor, who is the fellow who's completely in charge of his uh, destiny, and he's not going to do anything that he doesn't want to do. And then the final outcome, illusion and delusion. So, yeah, he's going to throw up a smoke screen to um, see that this doesn't happen. Okay, so let's get more specific then. Will he? Okay, we know that he's going to resist, but I want to know, will he actually have to testify? Will he be interviewed as a witness regarding that Matt Gaines situation? Will he be interviewed? The, the self of that question, whether Tucker Carlson will be interviewed or not. Ah, okay, so this is the, uh, how many is this? Is this one, two, three, four? This is the four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is really holding on to your value and this woman is really struggling uh with this okay it's a heavy load she looks like she may be almost ready to drop this one um this one uh pinnacle right here so really holding on to your value um and that's in the environment of okay this uh two uh is, it, oh, is this a two of cups let me be sure these cards are so hard to to decipher this is the or this is the 11. so uh 
this is another page. This is a page of cups. Okay, so this is a page. Again, just like this page, this is a very weak messenger to the court of some sort of an emotion. So holding on to this value is, is in the environment of a very weak uh, feeling of any compassion. And as a matter of fact, the cup is closed and it's not open for this person to take a sip out of. So I think they're going to hold, he's going to hold on tight to his value, but it's not going to be met with much, uh, empathy, uh, by whomever the authorities are. The, um, hopes and the fears of the situation will tuck across and be interviewed for a Matt Gates situation. Ah, is this eight of, uh, now are these wands or swords? These are, look like swords to me. Yeah. These will be swords. Okay. So this eight of swords is um oh gosh my mind is a blank now eight of swords i'm gonna look it up because i don't want to stand here and just uh on uh here and keep talking uh oh and president yeah so um the eight of swords is telling you this person is feeling really usually it shows you the person is, is surrounded by the swords and they're feeling trapped this person is feeling really overwhelmed by this huge uh, situation they have to drag forward uh, in these swords so yeah the hopes and the fears this is a really heavy uh, burden for this person okay but it doesn't mean that it can't be done because it can be done and then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is whether Tucker Carlson will be interviewed for this uh, Matt Gates situation this is I think it's a nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah between a one two three four five six seven eight and nine so yeah this is the nine of swords and the nine of swords is it's a nightmare Okay, it's just uh, an impossible uh, situation, something they don't want to have to deal with. So yeah, I'm going to say that even though he's got this great big offer of uh, compassion, uh, or I'm sorry, this illusion and delusion right here, uh, that no, he's probably not going to get much sympathy from the authorities in this regard. So uh, I'll just have to go lean on that and say that probably he... Um, he may have to testify. Let's talk about it one more time just to be sure. Okay, so he starts out as this world card, the end of a cycle. Okay, so it could mean that he actually comes in at, toward the end of whatever these considerations are. But it's challenged by this page, very weak offering of this plan, of this motion. and it's But it's underpinned by this um, five of swords, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, theft and betrayal and deceit. And uh, in the past, of this is uh, this huge ace of cups, which is a lot of emotion that he just brings to the scene naturally, I think. But in the sky of this, he's the emperor. So he's really in charge of what's going to happen. He's not going to budge if he doesn't have to. And the likely outcome of the whole thing is this smoke screen, illusion and illusion with the seven of cups. And then with the self of the question, really trying to manage your value, really embattled by that. And then uh, with this other weak page is in the environment of that, it's just a weak feeling of any compassion uh, for him. The, the cup of compassion is even closed. And with this hopes of the fears, with this eight of swords, really feeling uh, burdened by the situation. And then up here in the sky, with this uh, nine, did I say nine? Yeah, the nine of swords, this nightmare of what it all is. So I think, um, you know, he's going to put up a good fight, but uh, it may not matter. He may have to testify somehow. So that's what I got for this read. What do you think about it? Do you have some different ideas? Let me know. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.